Hello friends, in last video we discussed about Boulville effect and why it is important. In this video we are going to discuss the causes of the Boulville effect. So there are main uh, two causes of the Boulville effect. The first one is a primary and second one is the underlying causes. Primary causes are due to the different stage have a different ownership and they have different policies. For effective supply chain all the stages should have common policy but this is ideal case because each one wants more profit in small period of time. Underlying causes consist of demand forecasting, rationing and shortage gaming, order batching and price fluctuation. In this video we are going to uh, discuss in detail the causes of uh, Boulville effect that is demand forecasting and rationing and shortage gaming. So uh, now we are discussing the uh, first cause of the Boulville effect that is demand forecasting. Uh, each stage of the uh, each stage of the supply chain do forecasting on the uh, order from its subsequent downstream and not from the customers. That's why forecasting uh, that's why the volume effect goes on increasing from one stage to, uh, uh, to uh, another stage that is from downstream to the upstream. Forecasting is only made on the orders not uh, not from the end customer demand. That is uh, there, suppose there is a supplier to the manufacturer so that supplier make forca forecasting based on the order placed by the manufacturer not on the demand uh, demand or the order placed by the customer so that is the main cause uh, and we should take care of it the small increase in the demand are amplified as they move upstream and new demand information is used to re-estimate inventory policies and last one is a uh, effect is exacerbated by uh, long lead times Second is the rationing and shortage gaming. We know that when there is a new product launch, there is an increase in demand and due to limited resources, supplies go down. So what happened? Manufacturer will typically ration the supply means instead of giving 100 to a single customers, it gives 20 to 5 customers. So customer know this and they will place a phantom orders of 1000 so that they get 100 and when supply balances, uh, then there's all the orders disappears and hence it contribute to the bullwheel effect. Here we uh, see that when, whenever there is a new product launches uh, like iPhone 13, there is an increase in demand. But due to the, the uh, limited resources, uh, we all know that there is a shortage of the chips. So there is a decrease in the uh, supply of the iPhone. So that is the main, uh, uh, that we can say that is a live example of this. And Yes, and in next video, we will discuss the other two causes of the bullwheel effect. Thank you for watching the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon for further update. Thank you.